Good morning, everybody. Since 1982, the Florida Commission on the Status of Women has been inducting Floridians to its Hall of Fame. This year, for the first time in its 36-year history, two of the three honorees are from right here in Hillsborough County. Congratulations to Lee Levengood of Tampa and to the late Adela Gonsmart, who is being honored in memoriam. We are honored to have Lee with us this morning, along with Adela's granddaughter, Andrea Gonsmart-Williams, and also a member of the commission from the Florida Status of Women, Maruchi Azorin Blanco. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. How wonderful. So many folks don't realize the important role that you have played in the creation of what is today the University of South Florida. What are you most proud of? I feel like I'm its mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very proud to have been involved with it from the very beginning and uh, being there for at least 35 years. Mm -hmm. And they never uh, slapped my hand when I wanted to do anything. <laughs> And so you've never stopped working. You are also instrumental in the creation of the Tampa Bay History Center. Why do you think that's so important? Because our history is very important, and Tampa has a very rich uh, history. And I was able to bring in programs from the university mm -hmm. to the History Center. Well, you are in such wonderful company. So many folks are so happy that you are being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Andrea, I know that your grandmother you know, bigger than life, a rock star. Um, what do you want folks to remember most about Adela? She was so before her time. You know, she spearheaded so many great um, organizations like the Ballet Folklorico, the Ybor City Chamber of Commerce. She was working in the restaurant business before it was acceptable for women to work in the yeah. restaurant business. Absolutely. Um, and she, you know, she was also an artist. She played the piano. She graduated from Juilliard. She was amazing. Larger than life. Yeah, you all are. It's such a special day for your family, both families. Maruchi, you gave the Gonsmart family the news. You called them while they were on vacation. Um, Andrea's dad. I was, texted them because I knew that they were not in our time zone. <laughs> They're not in the country. And so what did you hear on the other end of the on line? On the other end of the line when he, tweet, when he texted me back, he goes, oh, not after saying thank you, he goes, it was my mother's birthday. <laughs> the day you the delivered news. the news, and you're, of course, referring to Richard Gonsmart, um, <laughs> Andrea's dad. Um, you know, this is such an important moment for women to be recognized in the history of our country and the history of our state. Um, what's your, um, your message to folks watching? I just can't encourage people enough to go out there and do something for your community, do something for your city, your state, your institution that you favor. Uh, we're so honored. We've known that Lee and Adela were always Tampa treasures. Now they're Florida's treasures. Now everybody else can know. And Thanks they'll be enshrined forever. Their names will forever be on that wall in the Capitol as honorees. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be right back.